Oh, what's up, everybody? Mr. Viola here, and welcome back, one and all, to our Arc Eternal Chaos series. Now, does something look a little bit different? I was looking around my base, and, and something looks a little bit different. Can you see what it is? Is, is, something, is there something around us that, I don't know, might have changed, might not belong, might not have been here yesterday? I know, I'm not talking about the giant, like, floating island that was up there. That was a mistake. That shouldn't have been there in the first place. I'm talking about inside of the base inside of the walls of the base we don't really have a base we just got walls up in here this guy over here check it out i don't recall this guy belonging here i don't remember taming up a red bloody looking black eternal indominus dodo wyvern but boy oh boy does he look awesome so apparently i was just chatting to the uh the mod developer uh just today the main guy behind the eternal mods uh luton kane and he told me that all the Indominus dinosaurs have recently gotten a little bit of a reskin. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. This looks so darn epic. I love it. Get a load of this thing. Ah, oh, not to say I didn't like the original skin. Because, oh, that's a little bit jittery, isn't it? Kind of looks a little bit flashy there with the uh, the feathers and whatnot. But uh, not to say that I didn't enjoy the original skin. The original skin was really, really cool as well. Uh, this guy here just looks awesome. He just looks epic. It kind of looks like it depends on which direction I fly him in, actually. <laughs> if you fly him in this direction, it's all good. But then as soon as you, like, turn a little bit, it gets, like, really, really, like, jittery with the colorings. But it's all good. Uh, today, we're going to be taming a new dinosaur. A dinosaur that was just added to the mod. Uh, I don't know where to find one of these just yet. But I'm hoping we can find one pretty easily today with the help of of our transmitter piece right here. Um, there is a new type of Indominus dinosaur. A type of dinosaur that I, surprisingly enough, have not tamed up this series yet. However, it is... Well, it's one of the first dinosaurs I normally go for. No, it's not even a first dinosaur, but it's definitely a staple of my channel. It's a dinosaur that I... I don't know. I like to tame. For some reason, I haven't just yet. Let's go and find us this Brent... Wait a second. Indominus shark? Since when was that a thing? That's not what I'm looking for, by the way. That's that's not even... That's that's not what I was hoping to find in here. But there's a lot of them. What do these look like? Dominus Shark. I want to go find one of these now. There's actually one. It looks like it's quite shallow. At 3138. Should we just quickly go and check this out? 3138. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to take... Uh, I think this guy here can fly underwater. So let's quickly take him for a little old squish down here. Because um, I want to see what this looks like. An Indominus Shark? How did I not know that that existed? I'm really curious now. Also, ooh, active camo on this fella right here. Uh, so, are we on this side or are we on that? Wait, that's not my GPS. That's my GPS. Um, okay, should be, no. He said 31 to 38, right? So, he should be over this uh, direction a little bit. Maybe over here a little bit more. Southward, okay. He's going to be down here either way. Oh, wait, you can't swim under water. I guess that's it. That's, that's the Indominus Rex. Not Rex. The Indominus Shark. All right. Well, <laughs> I guess that answers that question. Good to see. Good to know. All right. Let me take this guy home. I don't plan on taming one. I just wanted to see what it looks like. The dinosaur that I am looking for, though, is an Indominus Argentavis. Uh, brand spanking new addition to the Eternal Mud. I just want to see what it looks like. I want to tame one up. We haven't tamed an RG all series, and I just want to do it. Also... I got a lot of comments about this one in particular. I worked out why I recognized this guy, but why also it looked a little bit different to my memories. I knew it didn't look like a Uranus, but I couldn't quite piece it. It's the Razor Tooth. It's a Razor Tooth from Atlas. Ah, oh, that's what it is. I don't know why I couldn't pick it, but we got there eventually, I suppose. We're starting to see a lot of Atlas dinosaurs make their way over to Ark, which is really, really cool if you ask me, because there are some really, really cool creatures that were added into that game that uh, I never got the personal opportunity to, like, really dabble with. So, hopefully we get some opportunities soon. Anyways, what are we looking for? Is it the Prime RG that I got to find and then he evolves? Or is it something else? Eternal Alpha? No. Huh. Oh. It's like a rare summon type thing. So, you got to go and kill Indominus Dinosaurs and then there's a chance... That the RG will spawn by the sounds of it. Or Prime. Apparently Primes as well. If you go and kill Prime Argentavis. Apparently it kind of like accomplishes the same thing. And there's like a ton of those. Um, Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking guys. 
There's a mod that we've had in this mod pack that I haven't used the entire series. I've kind of been trying my best not to use it, and we've done really, really well so far. I think we're finally going to give in today because we're just going to go on a dino hunt to start this one here off. I'm talking about the Creature Finder Deluxe mod, the mod that locates any dinosaurs that you could possibly want. Similar, similar to the thing behind us, uh, just a little bit differently. If I am to type in Indominus, uh, let's go find some Indominus gorillas, I guess. Boom. Look at that. Look at all these Indominus gorillas that it's just located for us. And we've got a little, like, waypoint on top of our screen as well that's going to, like, locate them for... Anyways, it's awesome. It's epic. I don't know why I haven't used it. Mainly because I kind of just wanted to see how far we could get without using it. But for something like this where we're just going to go and try and find, like, a whole bunch of these guys to take down to hopefully get the Indominus Argentavis to, like, spawn in, then I don't mind. It is what it is. So be it. It's not cheating. It's a mod pack after all. It's kind of all part of the fun, right? Also, hold your horses, guys. The Indominus Gorillas have got a reskin as well. Also, there's a Prime Argy out here. So what? I can take down Prime Argy. For a start. Oh, hold on. An Argy just appeared. That's not the Argy I'm looking for, is it? That's just a different Argy, right? Where is he? I can see it, but I didn't see it beforehand. What kind of what kind of RG is this? Pri Wait, that's a prime RG. All right, I guess I'll take him down as well. Double prime RG takedown. Yeah. All right. Do we have an Indominus Argentavis spawned in. We do not. Um, but yeah, it looks like all of these infernal dinosaurs got a bit of like a reskin because they're not bright blue and like aqua colored anymore. They're like all dark, black and red and scary looking. It's kind of cool. I like the look. Anyways, no RGs as far as my eyes can see. Let's keep on fighting these guys and see what we can come across. Uh, where is this next gorilla? He's down here somewhere. There he is. Hey, big guy. Thanks so much. Um, I don't even know where to look when we take these down. Like, how far do you look to try and find a, an RG? Good question. So what is that? Why does it look like it's like... Oh, oh, corrupted fire. Yeah, of course. Of course it's a fire duck. Anyways, <laughs> let's keep it going, baby. Let's keep it going. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Give me my Argentavis, please. Pretty please. With sugar on top. I'm not seeing no Infernal RG. Indominus RG. I think it's a pink and purplish color, like similar to the Infernal RG. Or what you would assume to be the Infernal RG. I've actually never seen one. But, you know, all the Infernal dinosaurs, they got that really purple looking coloring to them. I'm assuming it's going to look like that. Also, I got to be careful that I don't accidentally, like attack too much and then end up kind of killing the Indominus Argentavis. I'm going to go and take this guy here down while I'm here, though. That was an Indominus, after all, and I guess it would have the, in, like, the opportunity to spawn what we're looking for in. Let's keep it going. Man, I should really tame one of these gorillas. They look so cool. Anything? Any Argentavises? Nope. Just a gorilla. Oh, hold on. An Argy down there. Elemental Ice Argy. Not quite what I'm looking for, I'm afraid. Not quite what I'm looking for. In fact, you know what we should do? I should change our little, like, selection criteria here to just Indominus. Although it is going to probably... Yeah, it's going to find us a bunch of Indominus Megalodons. Oh, no! I've been infected by a tower. Uh, which tower? What tower? Uh, it's not telling me. I don't know. Hopefully, we can escape its boundaries, though. Um, hmm, it's going to find us a bunch of sharks. But the reason I've done this is because upon killing these gorillas... Man, there are so many dinosaurs out here. Then it might, like, just pop up with the RG that we're looking for right next to us type thing, if you know what I mean. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. Eternal Alpha RG, I'm not looking for you, I'm afraid, buddy. I'm not looking for you. It also doesn't look like I am finding any of the RGs that I am looking. Elite Prime? Oh, it's been it's been affected by a tower. Come here, Elite Prime. I'm sure that you count. Come here. I think this is how we're meant to be doing this, by the way. I guess uh, the only way to find out is by continuing with our little Indominus slaying spree. All right, let's keep it going. Hello, Gorilla Boy. Wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back, come back. And I don't see it, but you know what? While we're here, we may as well take down any prime dinosaurs we find in jail. Oh, 
Oh, space banner. Hey, we just got a space banner drop. That's the second one I've had all series. And we have taken down so many of those guys. Is he, where is he? That in there? That's him right there. Oh, I'm going to kill it. I haven't killed a space panda yet. I don't even know what you get for it. Probably just a bunch of other junk. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep going. Hello, prime fellow. Thanks for the prime blood. Uh, but yeah, prime blood, super valuable to us. I'm sure we're going to need it at some point. So we may as well just collect it as we go. Um, but I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing any Indominus Argentavis to spawn just yet, which is really disappointing. Hmm. Is that a prime RG? It is. It's like a mutated colored one though. So just to double check, we haven't located any Indominus RGs just yet. But what I am going to type in here instead, just so we can kind of like hone down on what we're actually looking for. Let's get some prime Argentavises. That's the only thing I want to be finding right now. So at least as far as I'm aware, there's two, well, there's, I guess two varieties of things that we can kill to, um, I guess, increase our chances of getting an Indominus Argentavis spawning. Apparently, absolutely any Indominus dinosaur, upon killing them, has the opportunity to spawn one of the Argentavises or just straight up by killing Prime Argies, um, which I'm happy to just focus on the Prime Argies because we know that they're all going to be above ground. We don't need to, like, get mixed up trying to take down, like, Indominus sharks now that we know that they're a thing. I don't know. Either ways, though, we're going to keep on taking these guys down until I see... And Argentavis, like one that I've never seen before. And so far, we ain't finding nothing. Here's another RG though, apparently right down here. We got him. We got him. I'm actually going to cry though if I end up killing one of these things. Oh, 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 hello. How you doing? Not today, buddy. Not today. I'm not in the mood. Um, I'm going to cry though if we end up taking one of these RGs down. And then I see the little death message that I've just like taken down. The infernal version that I'm trying to summon. Not infernal. Indominus. Why do I keep thinking it's infernal? I guess they kind of sound similar. Anyways, like most dinosaurs, I'm assuming that it's like a 10% chance to actually get one of these things to summon. Uh, maybe we're just getting really unlucky or maybe I just, I don't know. Maybe it's a much lower chance than we actually expected, but we're just going to keep on trying until we get what we want. So, I've taken down a whole bunch of these guys, and we're not having any luck as far as I'm aware, which is really disappointing to me. But, uh, I guess, I guess all we can do is keep on trying. That's all we can really do. I just want to quickly check in here, though. Is there such thing in this list as an Indominus? Where are they? Indominus Shark? Inf no, where's the rest of the Indominuses? They, sh they should all be listed here. Why is there just one Indominus? What about the rest of them? What about the rest? Indominus. Uh, what? Uh, wait, wait. Why isn't that not finding nothing? It's been all good up until now. Uh, Argentavis. No creatures found. Oh man, our little dinosaur finder's busted. It's all broken. Why is it not working all of a sudden? Come on, you can't do that to me. All right, fine game, fine. You've had your way. Uh, why am I so heavy? Oh, we've just... Oh, yeah, I guess we... I guess we have just taken down a whole truckload of dinosaurs. That does make a little bit of sense now that I think about it. All right. You know what? Uh, just hold hold me inventory for a minute. <laughs> we well, unfortunately, guys, our original plans for today, finding this Indominus Argentavis, aren't going according to plan. So, we're going to put that on hold. Till another day, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. We're just going to keep on grinding away at these Argentavises until we get what we want. But instead of that, we're going to turn our attention to something a little bit more, a little bit more different. Something that a lot of people have been asking me to do for quite a long time now. We just haven't really gotten around to it. I am, of course, talking about the enormous, the gigantic world snake, Jormangadugger, or whatever it's called. You know the big old snake I'm talking about? We've encountered them a few times over the episodes. I haven't seen one in quite a little while, though. Why am I looking at a replicator? I'm meant to be looking over here. Uh, Jormangorbandur, whatever his name is. That guy right there, Jormangander. We have three of them currently in our world. I want to tame one of them. I don't know why we're leaving it till now. I, we should have done this a very, very long time ago. Not going to lie. I'm a little bit scared of <laughs> snakes. Maybe that's why I've been avoiding these guys at all costs. But we have a bunch of them around. There's one over there. 
There's another one. Actually, they're all like pretty close by the looks of it. Um, let's just hit up the highest level one because why wouldn't you? At 6884. 68.84 on the dot, pretty much. Who are we going to take over to this one here? I think we're just going to take over. You know what? Let's take you out. we got to celebrate this guy's awesome new colorings, right? 68. What was the numbers again? <laughs> Why is my memory so bad? Um, I know I know kind of where he is, though. So we can just fly across the map and we'll, we'll find him. It's all good. 68 something or rather. Let me go and get my GPS out as well. That way we really do not miss this guy. Um, he's a little bit further south. And he's going to be like... Actually, it was, it was, it was 68.81. Right? Maybe. Possibly. I hope so anyways. <laughs> it was like right near the island where I built my base last time we played on this map. I'm hoping he doesn't have a whole lot of top. I'm hoping he's easy to take down. I'm also hoping that he doesn't put up much of a fight because I don't want to go and like lose my oh no no I'm flying into lag territory no stop 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 okay we're gonna go up we're gonna go up we're gonna go up okay hit the skies oh oh I forgot there's like a little bit of like a black hole spot right there we can't fly anywhere near it because the little NPC tribes that have been building up their bases down there have just been a little bit rude very rude as a matter of fact and just just overdoing it with their with their structures um it's it, you just can't go near them you just can't get anywhere near him. I tried to destroy them, but I guess it didn't work. Uh, and I'm kind of too scared to hit him with a rocket launcher. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, you can see that little monstrosity directly ahead of us. Um, I'm a little bit too scared to hit it with a rocket launcher because I feel like it would just, like, destroy our world. Anyways, we are heading to 6881, which should be here somewhere. What, is he in the water or something? Um... 6881, right? That's what I said, I think. Well, for a start, we're nowhere near 68. Okay, he must be on this beach somewhere. I don't know how we're going to get him like to show his face, though, because I'm pretty sure that he burrows underground and only shows his face when he wants to. Um, but I guess I can just chill down here for a minute and see what happens. Uh, oh, we didn't deal as much damage as I thought we did. You're a little bit of a weak boy, our little Indominus Dodo Wyvern. I guess we haven't really put a whole lot of time into him. I'm just trying to take down this, this Megatherium for some reason. We ain't having a whole lot of luck with it. How much health does this thing got? Oh, there we go. Oh, I was only dealing like 24,000. Oh, another Space Panda? That's two for two. We never get them that frequently. That's actually crazy odds. Alrighty. Uh, so, not finding any big old snakes down here. Maybe if we head up here a little bit, hey? Maybe we'll have a little bit more luck up here. Possibly. Maybe. Hey? What do you think, game? Do you have any giant... Do you seen any giant snakes nearby? If only my little creature finder thing was working, right? That'd just be incredible, but... Apparently, you don't want to work. This thing must be under the water. Can I fly underwater? Nope. We got real close. But not quite. Okay. That's fine. I understand. I mean, we don't necessarily need to get the highest level one. There was another one just over in this direction. And I'm pretty sure I've flown past this guy in the past. So I think I know where he is. I think, if my memory serves me correctly, don't go, don't go near. Oh, no. There's a, there's a, a point. Oh, yep, there it is. I knew it was going to drop me. Oh, I tried to avoid it. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a giant snake somewhere in this area where is it though i gotta take down this tower i gotta get this tower all right we're good tower's down okay we can fly again at least but where's the giant snake i thought he was around here somewhere i could swear he was around here i've seen him before with my own two eyes hmm. where are you you giant snake he shouldn't be that hard to miss right I might need to head back home and just double check with our transmitter, I think. Oh, it was 68.84. So we were close. We just completely missed the mark. <laughs> and 53.83. That's what I'm looking for right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm nowhere near that one either. But you know what? I'm going to try that one there again. 68.84. Let's go and get him. So, take two at this madness that we should have been able to do on the first shot. 68. Which means he should be up here somewhere. Right? 
I, either I can't read numbers or my coordinates are just completely wrong. Oh, so I got to take down this tower down here. I need to take down an enhan enhanced, yeah, just a regular old enhanced tower. I want to start leveling up our, one of our dark stars. I don't know if we're going to do the, uh, the, the armored dark star or if we're going to do the feathered dark star. Probably just going to do the armored one because that's the one that we've got. Um, but yeah, I want to start enhancing and modifying and making the leads and all the rest of it. So we're going to start collecting a bunch of core modules all over again. We'll get there sooner or later. We'll just take a little bit of time, I suppose. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, all right. We found him. We found him. Oh, I swear I was like, whoa. Okay. Get that big old head away from me. He's got 4 million torpor. That's quite a bit. Uh, he also wants to eat dinosaur eggs to be tamed up. I don't. Okay. Okay. Enough. Don't look at me like that. You creepy old banana. Um, oh, I don't even know where I'm going to fit this thing. How am I going to put this inside of my base? <laughs> He's a big old snack, isn't he? And how am I going to hit him? Oh, gosh. He moves so quickly as well. All right. Just sit tight. Just, just sit tight. There we go. Yeah. What now? What? Oh, he deals 30,000 damage. That's some pretty good damage. Not going to lie. Pretty impressive there, mate, Rooney. But is it enough? I don't know how that shot there hit, but I'm so glad it did. Uh, so we're going to have to make sure this guy doesn't enter the water, I, sh I assume. Um, which is going to be difficult because it's very big. Uh, and there's a very small beach that he's sitting on. Hopefully, though, we can keep him on land. And hopefully, we can just keep on tap, tap, tapping away with our torpor. And hopefully, my friend here can just, just stomach it and take, take that little torpor in. And don't worry about it. Look at the size of that enormous head right next to us. It's right next to me. Oh, he's like, he's literally, oh, don't look at me like that, you big old slimebo. Oh, he's so creepy looking. He's so cool looking though as well. Oh, I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. Ugh. Snakes are deadly in Australia. Okay, we, we don't take snakes lightly over here. There's also an alpha raptor just there as well that I'm going to have to deal with. Otherwise, he is going to make my life quite difficult. On top of that, wait, why is he losing so much health? No, if you die, I'm going to cry. What's attacking him? <gasps> this little guy. Okay, I have to make sure I don't attack him, though. You're the one that's attacking the snake. Don't attack the snake. Don't attack the snake. I need to I need to kill the megatherium. Come on. Like, bury yourself or something. Get it. Like, save yourself. You <laughs> Save yourself, you banana. What are you doing? All right, I think he's at least alive. Uh, and he's not gonna die. I just gotta make sure. Oh boy. Get, ugh, I know that I like uh, Here's the thing right now. I know that I'm safe. I know there's nothing he can do to kill me I was like I need to get some arrows out and just just the look the look just uh, I don't know it creeps me out It creeps me out But I think that's it, right? That's got to be it. He's going to sleep. Go to sleep you big old chunga There we go. Just crushed me with his head as well while he was at it So I think we're just gonna like prime meat tame him i don't need to go and get nothing special dino eggs and that sort of stuff um i don't have any taming items how do i put meat in his body though there we go so i can just put that there right yeah there we go that'll get it done his head doesn't even touch what was that someone was just shooting at me it's not very nice but sure enough okay i might I might back up Something doesn't like me in the area. But it's not this snake. We're going to be best of friends. We're going to be... <laughs> with that big old scary head. We're going to be friends with this guy. Oh, I don't know why. Don't ask me. Don't ask me why we're doing this. This is just weirdness right here. I'm so excited about it though. I want to see what he's capable of. I just want to see what it's like to ride around in a giant snake that's like bigger than my base. We're going to need a bigger base to store this guy. Ugh. He wouldn't even fit on the genetic modification station. That's the craziest part. I gotta like hover up to his head. <laughs> We're gonna make sure we don't get like snatched up in that big old grill of his as well. But here he goes. The last final pieces of meat. Two more to go. Last one. And there he goes. Apparently I was too far away to name him as well. Alrighty. So I'm gonna send my buddy here home. I think. I hope. You just go home for now, okay? And we're going to take this guy for a ride. At least we're going to try. Yep, okay, we don't need a saddle. 
But look at the size of this big old beast. Oh, you telling me he can't swim? For real? I thought if there's anything that he could do, it'd be swimming. I thought he'd just slither across the surface. I'm a little disappointed. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, 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 snap. Oh. Oh, he deals some good damage. Oh, he'd be dealing some really good damage. All right. Let's, uh, let's go on top of the surface. Uh, guys? Uh, this, this is like Dark Star level damage right here. We might have just teamed up something far ahead of anything else we've dealt with up until now. Um, do I have any other experience potions? I don't. Because I put them all on my buddy old power that we just sent back to the base. And now he's dealing nearly a million damage? Oh my gosh. Oh boy, what have we done? Uh, this may be game changing right here. In fact, I'm going to go out on a whim and say we might have just tamed up the strongest dinosaur that we have yet. Because this, this, I've never seen anything like this. Uh, okay. Okay. Definitely got no more experience. Oh, we got a little, little baby one. There we go. Ah, uh, if we had a bigger one, that'd be so much better, but so good. Um, I'm a little bit scared to see what happens with these most recent levels that we just dropped on him. He's going to be dealing like a couple million damage, surely, right? Can he climb up this little hill? No. Oh, he can burrow. Of course he can. Uh, I'm kind of stuck there. I have no idea what's happening. Turns out he can't run up cliffs. I'm surprised. And a little disappointed, as a matter of fact. Oh, and he can shoot laser beams, because why not? I don't even know how to control this guy, because he's so big. Uh, we're just going to send him home. Okay. We're going to... Can I send him home? Can we do that? <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest thing ever. Also, what? Is that... Am I... Am I... Did I set something on fire? Or is that... Wait a second. Is there fire? What is... What is doing that? Something's emitting fire down here. Huh. Let me just hop off for a second. What are these flames? Is this something I've just done or, or have I missed something very obvious? They don't hurt me, whatever they are. I don't know. I don't know. Let's take our friend here home though. Let's go, big guy. Uh, I really shouldn't have teleported him into the middle of our base, but... It is what it is. He is bigger than my base. And this is not a small base. Oh, snap. Where am I going to keep you? We can wrap him around this giant, like, pillar maybe. Right? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, uh, I guess that'll do. What sort of... Oh, my gosh. This is not good. This is not ideal. <laughs> we haven't even been able to, like, test out what he's capable of just yet. Let's just head down here real quick. Um, oh, dear. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my lord. That's some damage. That is some damage. Yes, indeed it is. Okay. I can't help myself, guys. I want to know how strong we can actually get this big old chief right here. Oh, my gosh. He's so big. Uh, if we... If we can get some uh, some potions. I know you, you've surely got some XP potions on you, right? Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. Let's get... Um, where's the biggest ones you got? We got some large boys. Some huge boys. That'll do. That'll do. We're going to chuck them on our friend here. We're going to see what he's capable of. She. It's a she. We're going to see what she's capable of. Just get them all in there. 97 levels. First things first. Let's get that health up a little bit. Up to 11 million. I'm pretty sure. If I could... If I, yep, okay. Let's get that speed up a little bit as well. Now you're going to be a little fast, gal. Uh, how fast are we talking? Can you swim? Oh, wait. I should... I should... Yeah, I was going to say I should heal it up before we do anything crazy. No, you can still swim like trash. Not ideal. Not ideal in any way. But there is an Indominus Rex just over here that we can test out our damage on. Laser beam it or something. Do something to it. Okay. Two and a half million damage. I just realized we didn't put any levels into this. So let's go and crank it up. Also, this is a thing now, by the way. Indominus hide. Um, yeah. Apparently you get that from killing Indominus dinosaurs. I think it's a new thing. I don't entirely know. Anyways, 
I really don't want to test this out because this is going to break the game 100%. There is no way that this... Oh, boy. I don't even know what I... Just... Wait, I'm taking a lot of damage from something. Am I drowning? Who knows? Also, I think I just broke something over here. Um, we're dealing 7 million damage. Still not... Still not the strongest dinosaur that we've got. Still not the strongest. That makes me happy. Also, this is really laggy. Like, ridiculously laggy. Oh, we can break rafts. Oh, we can smack them up. Finally. Finally, a dinosaur that can destroy these things. Oh, it's time to get some long-awaited revenge. Take them all down to the ground. Oh, these stinking rafts. I've wanted these gone for so long. And at last, we can put we can put them to rest. We can put them, we can silence them. No more sending catapults at every single wild dinosaur in the area. No more consuming my eardrums with that horrible noise over and over again. <laughs> oh, this is just what I wanted to do. This is just it. I knew this guy would serve a purpose. I knew he'd help us out. I didn't expect it to be taken down rafts, but I kind of like it. I like it a lot. This is our raft slayer. If that's all he can accomplish, if that's all he does for us, take down rafts, then I'll take it. It's just a shame we don't get experience for any of this. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure we don't. The world is a more peaceful place now that we've just uh, introduced our sneaky friend to the world. <laughs> Him and his 7 million damage buddy. Um, unfortunately, he isn't our strongest dinosaur. Actually, that's probably a good thing, as a matter of fact. Um, but if we were to genetically modify him, which we're not going to do, I think he would easily, easily surpass everything else. He's only got a few more levels left to go, but he, was a, he wasn't even a strong boy. Go. He's a gal. He wasn't even a strong gal. She wasn't a strong gal. Uh, it was only like a level 140. Imagine if we had ourselves a level like 300 giant snake like this. And then we like leveled it up. Got it up to level 600. Could you imagine the possibilities? Would have been dealing double this damage. I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad that that didn't happen, to be honest. Let's take our snake friend home. I don't know where we're going to put him. But, uh, boy, oh boy, I didn't think this through, did I? Maybe we just, maybe we just leave him like this. That's our, like, final wall. We, like, block off this entire, like, <laughs> entrance <laughs> with our big old snake. Ah, uh, snap. I don't know. I don't know. I guess that'll do. Maybe something like that. Let me just set you to passive. And uh, my inventory. My inventory is too heavy. Let's build a helmet this. There we go. Now we can Now we can move. Alrighty. How are you looking up there, big guy? Not bad. Sit tight. Don't follow me or anything like that. I don't know what you're looking at, but uh, yeah, cool. Giant snake acquired. It's not the Argentavis that I went out hoping for today, but I'll take it anyways. And on that note, guys, we're done for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please go ahead, bite that thumbs up, make it rain those thumbs ups. But most importantly, have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.